Hello and welcome back. My name is Sean, also known as Chili Chump. In today's video, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite sweet pickled chili pepper recipes. It is absolutely delicious. The chilies we're going to be using are pepper juice, also known as the Malawian picante. If you've never had sweet pickled pepper juice, then you're missing out. Go out. If you can get them in your local shops, get some of these. I promise you they are absolutely delicious. They go great in salads, on sandwiches, or just snacking straight out the jar. This recipe that we're going to be doing today is almost an exact copy. You're going to get very much the same flavors. There's a few minor adjustments, uh, improvements in my eyes, and uh, I'm sure you're going to absolutely love it. Let's go outside and pick ourselves some fresh pepper juice. Look at these gorgeous chilies. Those are just amazing and these taste fantastic. We're going to need to process them and that just means taking out the seeds and also of course taking off any of these stalks. You don't want that inside your pickle. You can use a teaspoon to do this. Um, this little thing is pretty handy though. I will leave a link down below if you are interested in one. By the way, if you are looking for some seeds for the pepper juice, also known as the Malawian Picant, I do have them available in my seed store. That's chilichumpseeds.com. In here, you can see that there are some ice blocks and that's just to make sure that this is gonna be as cold as possible. We're also gonna be adding in some water. The ice blocks needs to make up about 100 milliliters of water worth of ice blocks. And we're gonna need another 600 milliliters of water in a jug. We are going to add to the jug 70 grams of salt. Now you can use sea salt. This is Himalayan pink rock salt. You can use normal table salt. It really doesn't matter. You want to keep these chilies submerged so we're going to use a plate to do that make sure the plate is properly cleaned and sterilized top and bottom stick it on top and you can put a bit of weight on there as well the reason we put ice in here is to make sure that the water gets cold very quickly we're actually going to be putting this inside the fridge you want to leave this overnight for about 12 hours and we'll come back and do the rest of it if however you are in a bit of a rush you can do this in about an hour i would leave it out at room temperature but i find that the results aren't as good as doing it this way now the reason we're doing this is because number one the salt is going to pull out some moisture from the chilies that'll allow it to absorb the pickling brine a lot quicker and also maintain the crunchiness of these chilies time to make the brine for that we need 400 milliliters of good quality vinegar I'm using white wine vinegar 250 milliliters of water and 350 grams of sugar we're also going to need some ginger and some garlic we need about five cloves of garlic and uh, for this probably about half of this so let's do that amount And lastly, you're gonna need a pinch of fennel seeds. You don't wanna cut these chunks up too small. You don't want it to overwhelm the taste. The garlic, same thing. We've already crushed that a little bit, so that'll release some of those flavors. Thank you. 
Once this gets up to a vigorous boil, like you can see it is now, turn it down a little bit. So it's just a small rolling boil. Let's see, just like that, that'll work. You don't want to burn the sugar in here. Uh, you just want all these ingredients to come together and make an awesome brine. While that is happening, make sure that you get your jars sterilized. I have got a video on how to sterilize and sanitize correctly. I'll link it up above and also down in the description below. Once this has been at a rolling boil for about five minutes, it's time to add our pepper juice. Make sure that they've drained off as much of that salt brine as possible. These are fairly okay. They don't have to be dry. Just make sure you get out as much as you can. Now, when you add these, you're going to be adding them for exactly one minute, no longer than that. Just stir them in. Once that's been a minute, it's time now to start filling up our jar. First, fill the jar with pepper juice, so not the liquid. And you can use a slotted spoon to do that. Oh, they smell amazing. You really want to cram it down in there. Now, ideally, I'd have a few more pepper juice in here to really just squish it all down. But uh, that's all I had this time around. I'm going to get that brine a little bit higher than that, just below where the thread of the, the jar starts. Make sure you wipe the rim because you might have spilt while we were spooning in the pepper juice. So give that a good wipe and then get that lid on there. Now you can see there's a few bubbles in there. That is because they're just getting caught down at the bottom there. So jiggle this around a little bit and try and get that air to come up. Now you can see I've got a bit of a problem because that air has dropped the amount of liquid. And bear in mind, this is still very hot, so be careful when you are handling this. Don't burn yourself. The one thing I really like on the jar of the pepper juice that you can buy in the store is there's this cool little gadget at the top. If you have a look here, without oh, making too much of a mess, that is very cool. And not only is this useful to keep these things submerged in the brine, but I think this would be very useful for using in fermentations. So don't throw this away. In fact, don't throw away these jars. You can clean them and use them again and pickle yourself some new fresh pepper juice and put them in there and use this cap to keep them submerged. Actually, I'm going to try one of these because I want to compare it to the ones I've just made. Man. So, so tasty. Very sweet, and the sweetness doesn't just come from the sugar that's in there, of course that is a big part of it, but the chilies themselves are also quite sweet. Very, very flavorful, very unique flavor. Let's try the ones I've just done. They are still a little bit warm. I hate to say it, <laughs> Well, I love to say it because it's my recipe. That tastes far better than the store-bought one, in my opinion. Oh, my wife's going to love these. These aren't going to last very long. Mm. Delicious. Absolutely wonderful. Now, if you do want to spice it up a bit, because obviously these don't have a ton of spice, when you're doing the boiling of the brine that you're making before you add the malau and picant or the pepper juice, then chop up really finely a hotter chili. So maybe a habanero, nothing too overwhelming. I mean by the heat level, but also the flavors because you don't want that to dominate. Add some of that just as you're doing that rolling boil about a minute or so before you add the pepper juice. Uh, chop it up pretty fine, quarter centimeter, half centimeter size pieces. Put it inside that brine, boil it up, and then add your pepper juice and then the whole process is pretty much the same and you'll get a far 
spicier uh, mix. But this is just so, so good. Of course, you can use other chilies if you want. Pepper Dew is just my absolute favorite to do this with. But try it with other chilies if you want. Um, and let me know down below in the comments whether you tried with pepper juice or whether you tried with other chilies. Let me know what you think. I'm really keen to hear from you because I have the utmost confidence you're going to absolutely love this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, stay spicy.